I was born in Akron, Ohio, as was my husband, Ken, and um, then we lived in Mogador. We came back full circle and moved to Akron two years ago today into this current home. I'm recently widowed. My husband, Ken, passed away October 12th of this previous year. It's just now me. <laughs> we were living just straight on Social Security here, and so he was able to stay here until he passed away, and I was his sole caregiver. He had advanced Alzheimer's, and so it was really hard to get him into the tiny little shower that we had. It was just like a little cubicle, and our garden tub was too hard to get in and out of, and it was broken. It needed repair. Tammy made it possible for us to get a, a walk-in shower. Before, it had a, a door on it, and I was so afraid he was going to fall or slip, and so that just made a world of difference to have a, a walk-in shower for him. I also had some decking on our back, back deck that nails were sticking out of it and it was getting in disrepair and when I applied for help with that, um, Tammy was able to have someone come out and they redid the stairs and, um, and the decking, which has made it very nice. You know, at the time I thought I got a good deal on our home, but when you do transactions that quickly, you don't realize there are things that are really not in good order. And, and so I did have it inspected, but it just, I, I wasn't real happy with the inspection after we moved in either. It's been an expense to move in and have to put a lot of money into it on a fixed income. And for the most part, I'm really happy being here. I really like being in Akron. It's close to the freeway and close to stores and the neighbors are wonderful and friendly. I'm just now down to one income. Whether or not I'll be able to stay here, it's gonna be very, very rough. Um, and you know, things still continue to go wrong. Um, all my appliances and everything is getting older and they're like 19 or going on 20 years old. So I know eventually those are gonna have to be replaced. And, but housing is expensive now too. So it's, it's a concern as to what can be done and what will be done. How long I can stay here, I don't know. I've tried to keep up with everything, trying to keep everything in good order and in good repair and fixing things, but sooner or later your money is gone. You know, I really like my home. I like having the, the walk-in shower. That's made a wonderful difference. Having a nice deck out back, although <clears throat> with him being as sick as he was, we didn't get to enjoy it because he had 24-7 care but now this year, maybe this coming spring and summer, I'll be able to, you know, go out and enjoy the, the nice deck I have in the back and, and um, just living in a nice neighborhood and having wonderful neighbors that are, everybody's very caring, just like Direction Home, you know, when you find people that are, are very nice, it's, it's just nice to be able to stay in your home. When Ken passed away, you know, I had several people just bring me a meal or just, you know, like a little something. And um, a neighbor two doors down sent um, a peace plant. And so just very caring people. And, and I'm fairly outgoing and I walk my little dog around. So I, I know a lot of people in the neighborhood. It's, it's a nice feeling to be able to, to stay here as long as I can. It would mean being able to stay more secure and in one place and not worried about where I'm going to have to go or how I'm going to have to make ends meet. I think the financial situation mm -hmm. is the, the biggest obstacle that I have to face now. 
I always feel guilty because I always feel like somebody needs it more than I do. And so I'm hesitant to reach out, but um, I also recommended Direction Home to several people. And I know my one friend's sister is being set up. She's really in need of, of help and it's there for us to take advantage of. And, and so we have to look at it from a different perspective and it's, it's an aid to help us to be able to stay in our homes. The area on aging has been very helpful when I was going through a really rough patch with Kenny. Uh, reaching out to them was very helpful and, and they even recommended Kenny to go on to hospice and set it up for me. So it was really from one position and streamlined into another crossroads came out and um, assessed him and and so you know, that was you know helpful to me too I didn't have to really go searching direction home has been wonderful too and and uh, Tammy has been wonderful Teresa everyone I've worked with no matter what capacity it's been has been just so heartwarming and, and wonderful. And I can't say enough good things about what's what's available to older ones who need that help. And I, we could have stayed here, but it wouldn't have been as comfortable for us. And um, eventually things would have had to have been changed out or repaired. And so it's it's been a godsend to me, I feel, that uh, the funds are there and, and living on just social security, it's it's such a, a blessing, I feel. And I just feel like I'm, I'm so happy that I found out, you know, the area on aging and direction home. It's, it's just been wonderful.